Hey everyone, so today I got a video about, uh, you know, the main problems with Kamadi. But honestly, there's not just, there's not a lot of them, but they're the, they're the main ones. Okay, so one of the problems is that people just don't like it anymore, whether it be the game, the players, or the updates, or whatever happens that they change. And the only people that really play are the high levels, and even then it gets boring for them too. Like for me, it got boring. So, you know, I'm just making this video just to let everyone know that I'm not going to play that much, but still. But the main problem is that RVZ only cares about player accounts and money. And these guys might have noticed in recent update where the only major thing they added was skins and weapons we already have. And another, like, V24 potion, which is just a reskinned antidote that gives you boosts. But, you know, it is pretty cool, though. It gives you some cool buffs, like having 200% HP, armor, du armor damage reduction, laser eyes, which, you know... It's pretty cool. It's kind of like a moderator weapon. But the problem with that is it got removed, at least to my knowledge. You can't get it no more. The only people that have it are people that saved it on an account that they're only going to use for VIPs. But, you know, it doesn't even matter that much because another thing that they added was the skin crates. Now, skin crates, they cost Robux and stuff, but they do honestly, they do nothing just like CSGO. Wait, <coughs> unless you're talking about the stat boosts. The golden skins give, which is really, really stupid. And not to mention, in the most recent update, they added another limited time independent skin case and a fourth skin case, which, you know, is super cool and all because it's almost pointless. Other than the golden skin boosts with the stats or whatever, like faster reload and shit like that. But the V2.0 update was kind of disappointing because they only added like airdrops, one gun, and changed the animation to the camera shake, which made criminality feel less like criminality and you know aiming is a little more different now but honestly uh, i understand why updates take time to make and it gets harder harder to do that out I'll, I'll do the last update but to be honest if you have better updates your moderation is still gonna suck yeah i said it if you're gonna keep updating your game without fixing the main problems first such as false bans bad appeals system and like Paid win features with almost no new content, like your, you know, nunchuck, snowball launcher, and skin craze. It's definitely gonna suck. But RVZ, most like most people, needs money to live, so of course they wanna make this game the best. It could be right, right, wrong. He just wants people's money from it. No matter which way you look at it, there's always gonna be some criminal drama like false bans. Everywhere on YouTube, I always see some guy getting false banned or some criminal mods drama about how they're so bad or whatever but you know false bans are not always false they are sometimes actually correct and they still up unbanning the person just to reban them later which is pretty stupid and then there's real false bans even though the mods know it's false like my recent one compound order some dude probably reported it and got really lucky because it's a level 2 account and you know I don't know how the anti-cheat works but I've never ever got tagged by it on that account, at least I'm pretty sure, because it was such a fresh account, you know. But it's dumb, I'm not going to go into that, so just check the video if you want to see about it. But, you know, but, okay, now hear me out, hear me out. If they really want to make lots of money, maybe they could just fall spam people so they have to rebuy the game. Oh, wait. Suck a nigga dick. Suck a nigga dick. Suck a nigga dick, 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 suck a nigga dick. Now I understand why false bands happen me wrong but you know at some point you gotta think is there really a way to get unbanned if it was a hundred percent false well it's only if you know who reported you and who banned you so you can send the right clip and explain how it wasn't exploits rather than saying another portfolio or whatever of yourself which may and may not cover the right evidence like you could end up sending every clip of you killing some people and then the, the dude that you end up killing that reported you you just don't send it but you have it you just miss out but the reason for this is if they end up showing you 
who got you banned, you might just harass them and nobody will want that. But let's say if they did let you see the evidence you were banned with, it might help you get unbanned, but I'm pretty sure they wouldn't add it for the previous reason. So, you know, it, I mean, like, I mean, it's alright, like, you know, but here's a better idea that might actually work out. If you make an appeal, they could just ask for every clip you've gotten with a certain weapon or, like, when the past days or something to see if you're good at the game and maybe even see the clip that got the person banned falsely. However, the problem with that is if the person reported them for something client side, such as a closed door being opened and the person being reported using it to advantage, like shooting through it or walking through it, which happened to me, I think. That's why I got banned the first time. But what I mean is that it wouldn't be a perfect system, but it would definitely work for the people who got false banned more. And maybe a little less for the people that, you know, got them banned. But still, in the end, to be honest, it's probably not worth it for the criminal team. And the only reason for that is money. Yeah, money. If they get on ban and they already have every game pass, they wouldn't make RVZ more money because, you know, RVZ can't really get anything if they already have everything. Like, they can't give them more Robux. But on the other hand, if they did get on banned, they might end up buying something since it's the more, more played or ma main account. And if they do add my suggestion about showing some evidence and stuff or asking about stuff and be more open, that that would ruin it way beyond repair is horrible moderation. Yeah, no surprise there. It's been a problem since the beginning. Whether it be hiring incompetent mods who don't, do not know about you know how the game's mechanics work since they're new to it, literally just got added first day they're banning everyone, or they accept every report because, you know, they don't know how the game works or whatever or they don't care at all so let's take John Roblox for example you can see he's a huge youtuber with millions of subs yeah he still manages to falsely ban people for cheating like Kuno Ayo even though he got unbanned by Zella but wanna know why he got false banned John Roblox looked at a clip where Kuno shot someone and because of some Roblox bug not showing him zooming in with this deagle from the mod's perspective, who was spectating him. And uh, apparently he was eastping as well because he had ears. And hurt, hurt someone break their legs a little and fall down. So he ended up looking down and turning around a little bit. So, yeah. And the problem with that is uh, when they were spectating, they also had like a really bad system going on where the whole player was covered. And they really just could not see where the player was looking either way. So... That's probably how it is for everyone, not just Kuno. Now, I feel that the mods should just be a little more open with ban evidence and reasoning. There's clearly no reason that Kuno should have been banned along with many, many more people who may not have clipped anything because not everyone's a YouTuber who records everything they do. Like, come on. But, you know, I, I got to get this video to a close, so in conclusion, I'm going to say Korean mods suck and probably will for a while. Or forever, to be honest. The game gets mediocre updates and stuff nobody really wants. And RVV still wants money. Oh, also it also would be really cool if you had like a game mode like Team Deathmatch or 1v1s or competitive again. Since I think it would be cool. But still wouldn't fix all the problems I mentioned. But, you know. I feel like we need something new to do. Like every other game I see has another update coming out adding more stuff. Like a game mode, a new ability, stuff like that. But criminality, they just add a new gun and change up the current system a little bit. Ruin it for some people. Make it better for others. Like, come on. Just add more to what you already have. But I guess it's the end of the video. So, I'm going to just close this out. I'm going to edit this together. Hopefully, I get something out of this. But, you know. Whatever. So... Take this how you want it, but I don't really hate anyone for what they do. This is not like a hate message or nothing to the mods or anybody at all. So, yeah, take this how you want, but it's whatever. Alright, I think I'll just end it here. See you guys.